Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a fun, colorful project designed to give to the high school grad who has committed to a college. This card features a really fun watercolor technique that I learned from the one and only Christina Warner. And yes, I will link to that video in the information below because she's a genius. And I hope this inspires you to create cards for the graduates in your life. So let's jump in and look at the supplies. This card was also inspired by these dies from Pink Fresh Studio, the Adore Alpha dies. I absolutely love this set. Big slab serif font, chunky, and it cuts an outline and it cuts an actual letter itself. I'm gonna be using some Zig Clean Color Markers and I will have all of the supplies listed also below the video. Got a big old paintbrush and a little bit of purple tape. And I'm also going to be using this little cardstock swatch ring. This ring right here is uh, all of the Gina K Designs cardstock that I have. But I find this to be a really useful tool both for card making and scrapbooking to help pick colors that match. I'll be using some Strathmore Bristol cardstock for the project today. And I'm also going to be stamping a little sentiment from this CZ Design, which is me. Thank you. Great thing set just to add to the card project. So let's start painting. I saw Christina scribble onto a white palette and I had to order one and I had to try this because I don't know, I, I, I like to buy things, but it's a pretty cool tool that said. I love this though, this idea of you scribble out the colors that you're gonna use and I just picked a rainbow, just a rainbow of color of my Zig markers and then you wet your paintbrush, you pick up the color and you lay it down on the paper and just work your way around the rainbow order. And the thing that's kind of cool is this type of background, you could knock out a bunch of these at once and use them for all kinds of things. You could stamp on it. You could use die cuts like what I'm going to be using, but it's just a really easy way once you get colors that you love to make some pretty backgrounds. Now I'm gonna dry this, not fully dry it, but just kind of get it dry and come back in and just pump up the colors a little bit on the areas that I thought didn't have as much contrast. Um, that color is light carmine and I didn't think it, it read very red, if you will. But just coming back in, pumping everything up where it needed it, and that's it. That's all you do, just a messy circle of color. Ah, I love it, and now letting it dry. Now, this is another cool thing. Just sprinkle some water in your hand and flick it on. You can spray it on, you can flick it on, you can use a brush, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And the nice thing is, is that you can lay your paper towel down and where that water hit, it will lift and create this really cool splotchy effect. I think that looks really pretty. Now I already did one and I let it dry completely. At first, when I was working on this project, I thought I was gonna be stamping. I didn't stamp. Well, I stamped, but well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Here's an important part. I wanted to cut out this piece perfectly framed with one of my, this is called A2 Layers dies from Waffle Flower. Really great all-purpose die set because it makes these perfect cuts. So I just ran that through the old Spellbinders Platinum machine, and there you go. While the machine is out, it's time to cut my letters. And I decided to use the same Bristol Strathmore paper because it's not as white as for example, the Nina Classic Crest Solar White. So I wanted to make sure that it matched the watercolor piece really well. And so I just ran this through to cut out my letters. They cut beautifully. And again, you can kind of see there, you've got the frame and you've got the letter and you could use them in combination. You could use them separately. I just think it's a really flexible set. And I'm just going to be using the outline because I thought the outline would be cool because then you could see through to the watercolor below. And the PLU, I don't know, can you guess what it stands for? This is a card for my niece, by the way, who I will I will not name, but she knows who she is. And she will be attending Pacific Lutheran University. So ergo PLU. Now I'm just going to use some of my Nouveau glue to quickly glue these together. They're so delicate. I did find it to be a little tricky. I sped this up quite a bit because I'm very slow with this process, but it works pretty well. Just lay down your glue, lightly cover the whole area, and then stack them. So this way you get a nice bit of dimension. And one thing I wanted to show you though that I found to be very helpful 
these reverse tweezers actually can really help you to squeeze things together in areas that feel like they're hard to get your fingers in. So here, like on the U, I just, I just use the tweezers. You open them, close them, and they will push the pieces together. And I did that uh, all the way around just to make sure it was perfectly lined up. So also my nails, you're not seeing things. It's temperature reactive polish and it's changing color. And apparently half of my body is warm and half of my body is cold. Thank you. Or I have really poor circulation. Okay. Now for the ring. Here's why I love it. Got the piece done, put the foam tape on the back, and now I want to pick my card base. So I really like having this swatch ring because you can line it up and you can say, mm, do I like that? Do I like that? I did kind of have in mind that I wanted to use the lovely lavender. I just thought that was really pretty and really soft. And so lovely lavender it is, but the swatch ring, really helpful. And I'm, I will link to the tag set that I used to create the swatch ring. Now I'm just scoring my card base and this will be a landscape card. And if you'll notice, my nails have all evened out now. So apparently I'm cold again. It is the coolest polish. I'll link to the polish below too, cause I, I it's a new, uh, yeah, it's cool. All right, I like to tape my card bases closed while I'm working on them. And next I'll remove the backers off the foam tape, get all that off and then just line it up. And I love that framing margin space. You know, the die cuts a perfect panel and then you get to see that pretty lavender coming through. Now I'm going to use connect glue. There's, you know, different adhesives for different jobs. And I actually think for something like this, having a more malleable, if you will, liquid adhesive is great because the connect glue dries clear, but it also gives you a little bit of play time to get things lined up. Now I did bring in my T-square to help line up and I always tape it down when I'm working because I don't want it to shift at all. But the liquid adhesive, this connect glue, really nice for something like this, a very delicate, die that you need to make sure is in the right position. So just like that, PLU is down and I'll put a brick on that and just let it really adhere. Off camera, I stamped a sentiment from that stamp set that I showed in the beginning. Just says, here you go. And I used my sentiment label dies to cut that out. Love that set. And I trimmed that down and just put two pieces of foam adhesive on the back then the idea was that it would fit right in between where the letters are with just a tiny bit of clearance, just like that. I'm adding a little bit of shine with some sequins here from Simon Says Stamp, and I like to use also the Connect Glue for this as well because it works great, and again, it dries clear, and it's really strong. So that is my finished grad card that I will be giving to my niece who has committed committed to her school. It's a really fun idea. I think you could do this for, well, any university call letters, but it just adds that little customized touch. And I did stamp a sentiment on the inside that says, you're going to kill it. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber and I'll see you back here again with another card project soon.